In a time when Beijing and Washington are on the rise, Chinese military aircraft designers are racing to develop next-generation fighter jets to compete on their carriers to compete with US-made fighter jets. Examples of strong players in Chinese fighter jet production are the Chengdu Aircraft Design Institute CADI, which is working on a modified version of the J-20, and the Shenyang Aircraft Design Institute, which produces the FC-31. While both planes have been in development for years, CADI's chief designer, Yang Wei, said recently the J-20 was a better challenger to US fighter jets. He said the plane was inspired by American theories about air combat and jet development. The designer also said that the US military had been able to develop a carrier-based fighter jet and put it into mass production in less than six years. If the Chinese leadership decides to use the FC-31 as a platform for carrier-based fighter jets, it will be at least 10 years before it is ready for full deployment. By then America will be too far away to catch up, a source told the South China Morning Post. Beijing-based military observer Zhou Qinming said Yang wanted to prove that the J-20 was not just a fifth-generation fighter, but could be a platform for advanced induction reaction devices and other new technologies capable of targeting the shortcomings of their American rival, the Raptor. F-22 the fifth-generation fighter jet features stealth technology, supersonic cruising speed, super maneuverability, and highly integrated avionics. According to Justin Bronk, an analyst with the London-based Royal United Service Institute, RUSI, the J-20 is the largest, low-observable, fighter design currently in production or testing known, with an impressive internal fuel capacity and the ability to carry up to four external fuel tanks on removable underwing pylons. This will allow the J-20 to act as a long-range interceptor, hunting down American tankers and orbiting large-wing enablers, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft ISR, far from the mainland, a critical task if China is to confront American tactical air power that relies on aircraft tankers are very close to a conflict. Bronk wrote in his October report. However, he added that the J-20 had some drawbacks, including its lack of weight and agility. That is why the J-20 stands no chance in front of the F-22, as it has extreme performance and agility. However, Chinese experts claim that the J-20, which was developed more slowly than the F-22, has many advantages over the Raptor fighter jet. They believe that some features of the F-22 are more suited to Europe than Asia-Pacific. The F-22 only has a combat range of about 500 miles, which may be fine for a limited area of Eastern Europe, but lacking for the vast Asia-Pacific region. The J-2700 mile combat range gives the Chinese stealth jet greater range over flash points such as the South China Sea. What China appears to have decided to pursue with its low-level initial production batch of the J-20A is a fighter with a radar cross-section RCS, that is small enough to be difficult to detect in the chaos of the background clashes relatively close to Chinese airspace. Said Bronk. In such a scenario, there would be hundreds of non-LO, long-observable, aircraft and missile paths in the area of operation, as well as intensive electronic warfare. The threat of the J-20 with long-range PL-15 missiles operating in background chaos would be a major problem for US planners seeking to protect critical tankers and ISR orbits within useful range of the area of operations," he added. China's J-20, developed by Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, entered service in March 2017 and can carry up to six air-to-air -air, air -air, missiles on fighter jets due to the larger space in each weapons bay. Bronk concluded that if China prioritized F-22 or F-35 style capabilities to penetrate deep into airspace defended by other powers, all aspects of the observable shortcomings of the current J-20A would be problematic, but in a major regional context, it is a reasonable balance of cost, design complexity, and low observable features.